Hello everyone, my name is Brendan Snyder. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another episode of Five Favorite Box Sets. So if you've been following my channel, then you know I've gone over 11,000 CDs, but I've also got over 200 box sets. And while I typically focus on the individual album, I thought for this series here, we would focus on the box set. So question is, what makes a good box set, right? And what makes a good value for a box set too? So some of the criteria that I was looking at, at least for this, is that it should provide a good artist overview, like their best known tracks, hits and singles, things like that, have a, a variety of material on it, like alternate takes, demos, B-sides, outtakes, live, things like that. Um, something new for the hardcore fans, uh, unreleased material of some type perhaps. Um, also a book with uh, photography in it and biography, that sort. And then also, you know, if it's got some memorabilia, that's even better. So before we dive into this and I go through what are my five favorite box sets under this category, uh, if you're new to my channel and haven't already hit the subscribe button, please click the button. Also leave a comment, hit like, all those things help support my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And of course, as an added bonus by subscribing, you'll be able to stay up to date on all that's going on in the world of music, just like this with five favorite box sets. All right, no particular order here. First one up, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, playback from 1995. Uh, this is a six CD box set and uh, featuring 92 tracks on this. So, I mean, that in and of itself makes it a good value. It's uh, got hits, B-sides, outtakes, alternate versions, live. Uh, discs one, two, and three feature singles and hits on it. Disc four is 15 B-sides on it. Disc five and six have 27 previously unreleased recordings. And then there's still a book in here plus memorabilia. This is a cool one. This is the old school style box set because it also came out in uh, the 90s. The kind that lift off uh, like this here. We pop the top off, nothing on the inside. Only little piece of memorabilia is this uh, backstage pass that's in here, but still cool to get a little something. Poster right on top of it little mini poster, if you will, kind of uh, not even necessarily the size of an album, but you get that. You do get the really good book that's in this thing and uh, it's a really good write up within this thing, all kinds of great information uh, throughout it. Just look how dense that writing is. There is a track by track commentary and stuff included in this, which is really cool. What I like about these old school box sets is the individual discs. Um, and the way that they're done. In this case, they're done in these digi packs, but at least in the box set here, uh, they're kept individual and protected. And so I don't mind that, but uh, disc one and their gatefold style like that, track listing there, different type of uh, album cover, if you will, on the back side of it. And then the discs are also kept in sleeves. So protected and so forth. I really wish the digi packs of today would do that as well, but you do get um, those individual ones of that nature. So really cool. And there's a lot of great stuff. If you're looking for a good overview of hits, it's got it. But if you're looking for the deep cut, this walk set also has it. Okay. Next one, Alice Cooper, the life and crimes of Alice Cooper from 1999. It's a four CD box set. Again, it's an old school one from the nineties there featuring 81 tracks. So again, good content on it. 12 of which are previously unreleased. There are select tracks from every studio album that he put out on here, so making for a really good overview. It's also got B-sides, demos, outtakes, soundtrack recordings. There's pre-Alice Cooper band recordings on here by the Spiders and the Naz. Um, got a book with an authorized biography. And of course, uh, what's really cool is this specially designed box of which has uh, what looks to be Alice Cooper sitting behind there. It's uh, built up in depth. I'll pull off the cover and show you. And so um, like the previous one we were just looking at, it lifts right off like that. And so you can see how they created the uh, floating Alice Cooper figure that's there. But again, these older box sets do something a little different. They're not that typical book style box set that's out, uh, most of which you get today. So you do get the book that's in here, of which this at the time was considered an official biography of Alice Cooper. Uh, lots and lots, again, great information within this. 
This is some great photos too. It also has a track by track commentary in the back of this. So lots of good stuff uh, to follow along. And like the other ones in the 90s, they are individual discs that are in here. And these are in jewel cases too. And I always liked these uh, back in the day because I could pull these out and just have these sitting around. I didn't have to have them in the box set kind of a thing, but uh, very cool uh, nonetheless to get it in the jewel case like this. And so again, really great stuff that's on this. Um, they're single editions of stuff and uh, some real rarities on it, just making it good for the hardcore collector as well as a fan looking for a good overview of the band. And uh, next up, we've got Def Leppard CD Collection Volume 3. This one is uh, the newest in the ones I'm going through today from 2021 here. It'll actually be part of my year-end review on box sets. This is a third in a series of four, and it uh, collects together the complete albums um, of the band, and, and the whole package, of course, will do that as the same. This one being um, six CDs in it, featuring 77 tracks, and it covers the three studio albums that were put out during the 2000s, but there's also three bonus discs in this that feature B-sides, demos, outtakes, live, cover tunes, etc. And so what's exciting about uh, the three discs, bonus discs that are included in this, is that they're designed and sequenced like new albums. So we've got one that is a B-sides disc, one that is called Yeah 2, which are studio covers from throughout their career, different than the album simply called Yeah, and then Yeah Live, which are cover songs performed live, and of course there is a book in here as well. So here's the back side of it. There's those three bonus discs I'm talking about. Full track listing breakdown, and when you put this together, it will spell out Def Leppard. And then it's just a, a kind of box where these things slide out and you get the different albums uh, in here like this. So I'm gonna pull these out plus the book. I'll thumb through the book in just a second, but you do get the albums of the period. There's the original Yeah and Sparkle Lounge albums. But here's that individually designed B-Sides album. And again, these come in nice sleeved things as well. There is Yeah 2, which they've done as a cool gatefold style. So new art, you know, sleeves, everything on these made to be like standalone albums. I'd actually love for these to, to uh, you know, get jewel case releases in the full treatment. Maybe they will at some point. But uh, for now, there you go. And so um, then you do get a book which does go through, um, you know, providing information about each of the album releases at the time. So here you have the Sparkle Lounge album and then, you know, right up on the time period and what was going on. But then they do it for each of these newer ones in here, B-sides, and they break those down track by track and so forth. Of course, as you can see, lots of great photos that are in this thing as well. So just making it a really nice package. So despite this one being a little smaller than some of the other ones, it has a lot to offer and then uh, just a good price on all of these too. All right, next one up, Rush Replay Times 3 from 2006, four disc box set. You can see in there on the back side here and uh, featuring 62 tracks. This one a little different than the other ones. It's got three DVDs and a CD in it. The DVDs themselves are three separate concert films. So Exit Stage Left from 1982, Grace Under Pressure Tour from 1985, and A Show of Hands from 1989. So collecting together that whole 80s output from different periods, so it covers a lot of different material on it. The CD itself is unreleased. It is the soundtrack recording to the concert film Grace Under Pressure Tour. And this is the first time it's getting released here, so same track listing as that uh, DVD show now on CD. And what's cool is it's also got three tour books in here, so some cool memorabilia. And so it just slides out like this in here. And there's the cover of it once we slide it out. And we open it up and it's like a, uh, I guess a quadruple gatefold, if you will, like that. And so you can see the, the discs there, but then it's got uh, the tour books on either side, which I'm gonna pull out and I'll show you real quick. So while the discs themselves, these newer ones, you know, the discs are just the discs. I do like those older ones from the 90s where they're individual. I would like have liked those to be individually sleeved as well, but didn't happen. All right, so the Exit Stage Left tour book, 
And these are cool reproductions and see, they've got stuff to read and information about the bands as well. So even though this is actually a reproduction in the sense of it being memorabilia that's in here, you still get the overview of the band and the biography type stuff as well as if it were a book that was within it. And I'm not thumbing through all the pages. These uh, tour books are much bigger with many more pages than I'm showing you. Just trying to give you a sense of what to expect uh, with these things. And uh, we'll just do one more page in there. There you go. And the back side of that. So very cool stuff there. I'm a big fan of uh, miniaturized tour books included in these box sets. Anytime I see that, it's, I'm far more inclined to actually pick one of these up. All right, and the last one to talk about White Snake, self-titled 1987 release. Uh, this box set coming out in 2017. It is a five disc box set, and it is a lift top box set like some of these other ones we've been looking at. I'll get into in a second here. But this one here is celebrating the 30th anniversary of the album itself, featuring 51 tracks across four CDs and one DVD. Uh, CD one is a remastered album, of which it does include two bonus tracks that were not available on the original US edition of the album. Uh, then we've got CD2, which is a live show from 87 88. CD3 is demos and rehearsals. CD4 is remixes and single versions. And then uh, the DVD, and it's got a documentary. It's got the music videos from the album. It's also got live performances. And of course, there's a book in here covering the time period and the material and whatnot. So again, a lot of variety of stuff within this. This one here just lifts right off the top like so. And we'll put that down. I've kept the, um, I don't know what to call this, but it's the card that's on the back with all the information. It's always good to have those. There's a thing on top here. It's the, just the lyrics book of this. And then it does come with a poster as well inside here. We'll open this up real quick just so you can see it. All right. Nice, huge album size uh, or album cover, bigger than the size. We've got the book then on top of this, and I'll thumb through that in just a moment. But then again, we've got the discs themselves in here and they're individual. And so you've got the album itself and they do this as a gatefold release, which is really cool. And these, while um, not in any kind of particular sleeve, meaning there's you know no art or whatever on it they are in plastic sleeves to protect them here's the one that's titled 87 versions it's got the remixes and stuff on it gatefold single versions and that sort and we've got uh snakeskin boots which is the live show from 87 and 88 of course one called 87 evolutions which is demos rehearsals stuff like that and again Cool that they produced all of these as gatefolds, making them a little more than they are. And then the DVD itself, there you go. This one, not a gatefold. All right, and then we got the book itself, which is really cool. Def, uh, you know, David Coverdale, White Snake, definitely doing these box set, deluxe editions, reissues of these albums, whatever you want to call them, really, really well. And always for a really good price. These are usually around 60 bucks, give or take sometimes not even that much. So just a lot of good stuff within these. Great photos, great material. So there you go, that is the five favorite box sets, at least uh, ones that are the most bang for your buck and the most value, if you will. And um, certainly uh, check out the description for links to related videos. In particular, I have done full reviews of the Def Leppard CD Collection Volume 3, the Rush Replay Times 3, and White Snake 1987 box set that we just looked at. So all three of those have full length reviews and unboxings if you wanna to get to know that information even more. And if you will, please consider sharing this out on social media, help spread the word that way. I would also greatly appreciate it. All right, everyone, have a good day and I'll talk to you all real soon. Bye-bye.